We've gotten a new Star Citizen Alpha 3.24 hotfix that is intended to drop today if all goes well. Let's see what's in it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for D Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's continue. All right, guys, CIG has intention to drop a hotfix patch this weekend. So, um, not too long ago, they um, put it out into a hotfix branch. So, what this is, is it's linked to the live environment, but it's in a separate build itself. Um, so you get to progress and everything, but you get to test uh, those bug fixes um, without affecting your live build. Okay, so okay, so let's go over the patch stones just to see uh, what they say here. It says uh, for all backers, the hotfix channel, which is uh, connected to the live environment. And it says here, the testing and feedback focus. It says this hotfix has additional logging to for elevator and panel interaction issues for further verify and track down issues so now this i i, I just uh finished a stream and I, I did experiences i literally had to leave a server just go to another one in order for me to actually find an interactable um elevator um to leave orison so i could definitely attest to that issue players uh can test the hotfix by uh renaming or copying their live folder to hotfix and verifying the hotfix channel on the launcher. Connecting to this will put players on the live servers to test the fixes before it goes out later onto the live channel. So it says, if all goes well with the hotfix, we may push it to live channel for everyone tonight after an hour or so. So um, as we speak, they're testing this right now. So now um, it says here, uh, the bug fix that they have included is uh, the mission marker is not showing after accepting a mission. They fixed an issue where elevators are present, but the panel buttons stop functioning at Orson and space stations. And it says here, um, this is not a fix for the gray panel issue. This is a fix internally, but uh, it is not hot fixable and will be coming in a later build. They fixed an issue where all harvestables are given one merit per harvestable instead of the value of the type of harvestable. They fixed uh, an issue where you're unable to sell coping or may rock gem anywhere. They fixed an issue where when creating a manual sell order, players will forever have a pending uh, sell order on the commodity kiosk. They fixed an issue where players are not um, being charged an additional auto loading fee along with this is three hybrid crash fixes so now the one issue that um, I hope CIG gets uh, a fix for very soon is the um, haul emission so right now the haul emissions is um, is essentially 50 50 whether it will work for you or not and what essentially the issue is is you can get the mission, you can accept it, but once you get to the site where you're supposed to uh, get the, the uh, cargo itself from your warehouse, it it's not in your warehouse, so you can't continue and do the mission. Another issue also related to this is even if you can um, get the uh, cargo from the warehouse and uh, you take it to the destination, sometimes the, um, the kiosk that um, at that outpost that interacts with the warehouse, that elevator is not working. So, uh, so a few uh, fixes that CIG needs to address. Uh, uh, you guys, let me know. Have you guys been experiencing this, or is it just me? Let me know in the comments down below. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase One Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one.